And thank you for joining me. My name is Al Gavada. Today, I'm going to be talking about a short video that I saw and I took notes on by uh, the short video that I saw and took notes on was by Primerica NSD Collis Temple. Um, it was featured as a daily boost on the Primerica website. And on that video, he listed 14 things. Now, he calls them signs. But I don't know if it was a list that he named prior to the start of the video, like 14 signs of a leader or something like that. And that's what I imagine it was um, it was about, because most of the things that he mentioned, I kind of, you know, uh, put in the same category as someone who's a leader. So we're going to go over the 14 things because I thought it was a great list to share and I'm just going to give my thoughts on the the list provided by uh, Collis Temple III. Here we go. Number one, so 14 signs. Number one, you are pursuing a dream or a major purpose in life. Having a purpose in life, having a goal or a dream is, you know, is something that gives you, well, having a dream is something that gives you a purpose. Uh, having a purpose is something that spurs you into action. Have you decided what your dream or your purpose in life is going to be. If you don't clearly identify and clearly um, figure out exactly what your why is, that dream or the major purpose in your life, are you ready yet to be a leader? To start your journey, not only your journey to towards your goal, but a journey that is going to encompass the lives of other people that are going to be joining you in that journey. So number one, you're pursuing a dream or a major purpose in life. Number two, you read to learn every day. You read to learn every day. What are you consuming every single day? And is it beneficial to your journey, your dream, your steps towards your goal? Are you learning to become a better person? Are you reading to learn to become a better person? Are you adding to your personal development through uh, educational reading every day. So number two, you read to learn every day. Number three, you think like an owner. And I think this one specifically has to do with how much effort you're putting into completing the actions necessary to get you closer to or to where you need to get to. Are you owning what you're doing? Are you owning your journey? Or are you just kind of hoping it's going to be brought into fruition or you're just hoping that it's it's going to happen that it's going to succeed so number three you think like an owner number four you run towards responsibility <laughs> when things things come up and need to be taken care of are you the first one to say i'm going to take care of that or i'm going to figure out a way to have somebody take care of that because leaders obviously do some delegation right you can't lead if there's nobody following you so that goes back to the beginning, right? So number four, you run towards responsibility, taking responsibility for not only what your dream is, but the actions you're taking towards it. Number five, you are a cautious risk taker. And it's funny because you mentioned something about um, not really taking risks because, you know, what what he's doing is is pretty much, uh, is it's going to happen. So it's not much of a risk, but... That is sort of the example of a cautious risk taker. You are taking a risk, but you're not taking something that's like, man, this is such a huge risk to undertake, and I hope I succeed. It's more of a, this is pretty much going to happen. There is some risk involved, but the likelihood of it happening by me putting the effort, the time, and, and you know the energy into happening, the action is going to happen. So number five, you are a cautious risk taker. Number six, you take action. You have a bias towards action. Action is is probably one of the most difficult things that you have to grab a handle on because anybody can take action, but are you taking action? There's times when I find myself going, I need to do this and I don't. And then it goes back to that whole it takes five seconds when you decide to do something and, and launch off that pad. Even if you want to do three, six, three, two, one, do it. Otherwise, your body goes into preservation mode, self-preservation mode. 
and you start finding excuses or reasons or doubts or anxieties or previous failures that keep you from taking action at that moment. So number six, you take action. You have a bias towards action. Number seven, you are not afraid to fail. Being afraid of failure is a crippling thing. It's okay to fail. What's not okay is failing and not learning from the failure. Not learning that you could have done something else. You could have done something different. You could have done something better. You could have taken additional action. You could have learned more about what you were undertaking to become a better person, better leader, or better at it. But it, being afraid to fail is worse. So number seven, you are not afraid to fail. We're doing the 14 signs that were shared by Primeric NSD call his temple on his daily booth shared on the Primeric website. Number eight, you outwork others. There's always somebody, right? You you look over and man, how are they getting so much done? Well, are they are you utilizing your time to the best it can be utilized? You know? And I should have hung that up. Sorry, I apologize. So are you using the time that you have? in the best way possible and are you making sure that you are outworking those like it, it's okay to compete but don't compare yourself to the point where it drives you or leads you towards inaction so you outwork others number nine you continuously set and pursue goals you continuously set and pursue goals why is it a continuous thing because once you reach goals, that's not the end of the road, right? When you reach a, a, a summit that, that just gives you a better platform to see the next summit. And I've discussed this before. That's a discussion that you need to have with your team and yourself or partner specifically with yourself. Setting goals continue, continuously to have something to pursue with that action that you're undertaking. So number nine, you continuously set and pursue goals. Number 10, you seek to exceed expectations. Good never is good enough. Good never is good enough. So you always look to what? Exceed expectations. What's expected of you? Do more. Are you expected to do A? Do A, B, and C. That's you becoming a better version of you that deserves more success than the past you was going to be able to achieve. So again, number 10, you seek to exceed expectations. Good never is good enough or good is never good enough. However you want to say it. Number 11, you are fanatical about your relationships. Are your relationships something that you focus on and, and, and are you focusing on the right relationships as well? Especially with those closest to you, what is your relationship with them? Are you fanatical about them? Loyalty. Are you loyal to people that are loyal to you? And I, I learned a long time ago about loyalty and loyalty to a fault. You have to make that decision to where it's beneficial to you and to the other party to keep that relationship going. If, if, an, if, a, if a relationship is not, uh, not so much not beneficial, but more um, detrimental to you, is that a relationship you want to be in? And that comes actually later on this particular list of the 14 signs, signs shared by Primeric NSD Calls Temple III. Number 12, you get along with others. That is so huge. Being able to, I think one of the biggest assets you can have, the biggest skills you can have, something you can work on, is listening. Being able to listen to somebody, being able to empathize, not listening to give them advice. Not listening in a way that you're just waiting for a pause to be able to interject with what your thoughts are. That's not listening. That's you just uh, trying to start a conversation to speak. Listen to people. Listen to what they have to say. Sometimes it's joyous. Sometimes it's sharing of success. Other times it's a sharing of pain. Sharing of being disheartened. Anxieties. Listening. Being empathetic. You get along with others is number 12 on the list. Number 13, you're a team player. Be a team player. And look, being a, a lone wolf, being someone who's, I can do it all, I can do it all, I can do it all, takes you so far. Being a team player allows you to do more. 
you know, and being a team player doesn't necessarily mean you have to be the captain all the time. Sometimes you have to be able to support a captain or somebody who is looking to become a new leader and you allow them, you know, you, with your experience as a, as someone who has been on a team before or as someone who has led a team before, allow them to lead with your support. What are you doing? You're building a new leader. You're helping shape a new leader and hopefully uh, appointing them in a direction that's going to be beneficial to them and their future team. So number 13, you are a team player. Number 14, last on the list provided by uh, uh, Calls Temple the Third. Number 14, most of your relationships are success-minded. Who are you hanging out with? What is your inner circle, the ones that you rely on the most? Uh, who, who comprises that? Are they of the same mindset where, you know, they want success? They see success. They are driven toward success and you want to learn from them and grow with them and become them and then bring others, people towards your success. I think um, Carlos Temple mentioned something to the point of there's as much value in, I, and I'm probably messing this up. There's as much value in keeping the right relationships as much as doing away with the wrong relationships. And that's going back to what I mentioned earlier, right? Is a relationship that you're in or a relationship that you are currently having with someone it doesn't have to be a romantic or personal or business relationship, just, just a relationship where you are in contact with someone. Is that person a negative influence on you? Is it a drain on your positive vision? Is it um, distracting you? From where you need to go remember you're constantly setting and pursuing goals right is someone some sort of relationship or multiple relationships are they distracting you from that are you are they veering you away from that or are they all pulling in the same direction that you want to go that relationship most of your relationships are success minded and I had heard previously of Collins Temple. I think the first time I heard about him was in a talk by Bill Whittle where he was uh, just speaking about Collins Temple as he was becoming a leader. Now he's, um, I learned today, he's actually uh, on the Louisiana Board of Regents, which is a 15-member volunteer board appointed, appointed by the governor. Uh, that particular board is responsible for planning, coordinating, and budgeting for all public higher education in the state of Louisiana. He's been serving since 2015 and will be serving till 2026. So not only is a, he a leader in our business, he's also a community, community leader, probably another goal that he set where he wants to be, make more of an impact in the education of the community. So again, these 14 lists, these 14 signs that he shared uh, on the Daily Boost part, I'm sure, of a larger talk uh, were very, very um, beneficial to listen to. And I'm just going to go through the list one after the other, just like he did. Number one, you're pursuing a dream or a major purpose in life. Number two, you read to learn every day. Number three, you think like an owner. Number four, you run towards responsibility number five you're a cautious risk taker number six you take action you have bias towards action number seven you're not afraid to fail number eight you outwork others number nine you continuously set and pursue goals number 10 you seek to exceed expectations good never is good enough number 11 you're fanatical about your relationships number 12 you get along with others Number 13, you're a team player. And number 14, most of your relationships are success-minded. Very, very powerful list. I hope you can dive into this list and give thought to each one of those signs and what they represent, what they mean, and how they are represented in your life, in your life and in your business. I wish you success in your life. I wish you success in your business. Keep growing. Knowledge is power. Imagination is king and intelligence your weapon. Read a good book today. Enrich your mind. And above all, take action. Till next time, we'll be talking.